Okay, I finished uh, printing the uh, the wheel, of, uh, the tyre rather. I started printing another tyre which got sort of uh, two thirds in and then failed. I think the um, the nozzle jammed up on the printer, uh, so I'm going to clear the nozzle on that, uh, which is a bit annoying. But there you go. So that's the that's the tyre. I also had to get some new bolts to get the right bolts to fit. A few bits and pieces weren't quite fitting, so I'm assuming this will fit on here somehow. I've actually even tried this yet. This will ease on somehow. Okay, I finally got that on with a bit of uh, <laughs> swearing and shouting in it. It fits actually perfectly, and I think it looks quite good actually. So that's. Uh, it just needed uh, working out to get uh, to get it to fit. You can see there's a slight. Um, that's the uh, the brim sitting there. I suppose I could trim that back, but it's 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 not proud of the uh, of the wheel. So, uh, so that's quite good. Sponge in that. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, continue reassembling, um, and we'll see how we go. Just show you before I put all that together. I'm going to put a washer. Well, I'm going to try a washer in the middle there. And there's a there's three uh, there's three bolts in there through to the nuts on that side. Um, and we'll see how that works out. <coughs> so there's three bolts sitting inside there. Three nuts on that side, and then the main bolt's going to go through. There, um, which I think is the right length. I'll um, check that. I'll measure that in a second. Okay, I'm just showing you the inside of the uh, the motor assembly. This is with the double belt uh, and the sprocket sitting inside there. I've just uh, held all the. Uh, Tell all the M4 nuts in with just a bit of tape to stop them flying out. So that that piece slots inside there. You can see it's a slightly different colour there, so that will just slot in. Uh, this will slot on the top like that. This piece will go in in there in a few minutes, and then you've got the idler wheel at the back there. I've also put the the nut inside there in the same well, that one's forced in on that side with a, um, I had to sort of push that in with a pair of pliers to get that to fit so it, it fits in really really snugly uh, and that one as as you can see sits inside if, you, if I took those two bolts out you can get it's, it's, you can get it slotted in there so that's for the uh, ankle. We'll come down in, in the middle there. Okay, so that's the to uh, show you the assembly of the uh, the wheel itself. Let me uh, bearing inside there. That goes on there. That will then sit on there. So there's going to be another bearing inside that one. in there so there's two bearings inside that unit that piece will sit just move this over so you can sit uh, with a washer in there on there Okay, so I'm just uh, testing these out. This I haven't tensioned this belt at all, but um, that's the double belt. So that seems to work fine. As I say, it's not tensioned, and it's obviously not under any form of um, pressure. So I, I don't know if it'll slip, but uh, it certainly works. Still got to print the tire. I've had uh, three attempts at the tire now, 
and uh, my printer keeps failing so uh, I'm gonna try uh, I might try some different filament but uh, I'll get there I managed to print the, the uh, two belts uh, that I've as I said I think I showed that earlier that was the uh, the tire got uh, two thirds and then packed up that one so just that's all I need to print it's just one more uh, uh, tire and filament and then uh, uh, I haven't got any other more filament printing but um, I'm sure I'll get there so that is as you can see the uh, the single belt as opposed to the um, dual belt on that one I'll show you running it. I haven't got a, um, washers inside on that one because I have got a washer in, inside of that one, but it's only um, just put together as a test anyway. Just quickly show you. I've also put the um, the large bolts uh, through the top, which is a 12 mil bolt. I think that one. Um, there's a nut on there, and there's a nut inside. I've uh, hacksawed out a slot on the end there, so I can use a screwdriver to turn it in, because otherwise it never. Um, it's really stiff actually, but uh, it goes in anyway, that's fine, so it's, it's not going to move. Uh, it'll be flush on that side because there's no space on that side, I think that's the way it's going to work. Yeah, so it's going to have to be flush in there and it'll stick out there. Unless I cut the bolt there. Right, so here's the tensioning bolts for the uh, belt because you can... Uh, you can see the slots there. So you can move the inner, this whole section backwards and forwards, that, that middle piece in there to get, put more tension on that on that belt. So I'm just uh, tight, um, make sure they're tight so they don't fall out for a minute, but uh, as I say, it's not tension at the moment. Slide in because it goes in past that slot there. Hopefully, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, I think we mentioned on uh, one of Michael's comments is that these these bolts, as you can see there, slightly foul the sides. But I think um, you can hear it's slightly graunchy. So I think I'm going to have to work at that, make sure that fits in there properly without uh, crunching everything up. I've got this one too, uh, to fit in to that sitting more or less flush. That does actually go right in. I haven't got any nuts in there at the moment. But uh, that will be ready to sort of bolt up when I've redone the, uh, the assembly, which I'll take apart there actually and redo. So I'm just going to work on this one. Okay, just to uh, show you the inside of that uh, piece that's sitting in there. That nut's going to need uh, a bit of persuasion to go in.
but it will fit in there perfectly. Just a pair of those. And the same on this side, you've got this uh, one to go. Now this sits slightly proud and is catching the back of the shell, so I'm going to have to sh uh, shave down the shell. 